Alright guys, I just wanted to show you a wee circuit I designed. This is a latch, so there's two inputs and it basically changes its state when you press either of them. So if I click input A, you see it changes to this. And then if I click input B, it flicks back again. Uh, this can be used in quite a few things, I'll show you in a bit. Um, the most condensed version I'd seen is this one, which is instead of 3x3, three three, it's 2x3. Uh, and it still works the same, so if we click that, this input goes on, click that, that one's on. And I was just thinking about ways of making it smaller. Um, now, given my design is a bit taller, uh, it is only 2x2 two two in terms of width, so if you're trying to make something thin, I suppose, and don't really matter about how high it is, then this is quite good. So you see input A, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this input changes that and then this input changes it back again. i just show you what you could use this for. Um, a wee code door. So, see if I don't know the code, it's not going to do anything. Uh, that's the reset button. As soon as I click in the right order, so it's this, and this one, this one, and this one, you see the door opens. So that's just a wee code door, um, the reset button. I just thought I'd show you the applications of that circuit, so uh, it's a bit uh, clunky, it might be hard to see, but um, if you look here you can see it as opposed to this, and you can see it here, so that's using my Wii circuit there, four times over, and with a little bit of the magic redstone touch. So that's it, I just thought I'd show you that guys, um, I was just thinking, it is quite compact in terms of width. So like this could be quite a small room that this could be contained in and normally if you have like a base underground it could be quite deep so that um, circuit could be quite used for, we use quite well for heights. Alright, see you later.